channel my name is Janae if you're new and welcome to a new video I make content all about wellness centered around my own VSG weight loss surgery journey fitness and nutrition and if any of that interests you then I hope you subscribe so we are well into vlogmas and for today's vlogmas which is for day four I figured I'd get back to my wellness and nutrition stuff give the vlogging a little bit of a break because who it is a lot and I decided to do a macro friendly holiday Christmassy type of a drink video so this is gonna be all about the little Starbucks dupes that I like to make that are macro friendly for me to drink that will still get me to my goals but I can still enjoy the holiday themed drinks so yeah I already know I did this a couple of months ago when Starbucks came out with their pumpkin and fall type of drinks I'll link that video in the cards above and this one is going to be about the Christmas drinks specifically we're going to be getting into the peppermint mocha drinks the hot and the iced I'm also going to be showing you a macro friendly hot chocolate as well so I like to enjoy the Starbucks dupes in the house but I also like to enjoy them outside of the house and this is what I like to do when I know that I'm going to be going out of the house that's normally when I'm going to be popping into Starbucks and no that I like to be prepared so I get my favorite protein drink I'm gonna be doing the premier vanilla protein and what I do is I have my own syrups this is the syrup that I am using for the peppermint mocha so like I said on the go I will sip a little bit of this and then I'll pour my flavoring in there so that once I get to Starbucks I can enjoy my drink so I'm about to head out the house Let's go and get our Starbucks and then I'll show you how I make this drink at the house. So what I'll do is take a bit of a sip and then I'll just pour about that much of the flavoring in, give it a little shake. And then your preference, you can make this hot or you can make this ice, whatever you choose to do, but it's still going to give you the peppermint mocha drink, whichever way you wanna do it. And then can I have two shots of espresso in a venti cup, please? So what I like to do is I will order a, a venti cup, whether hot or ice. I'll order two shots of espresso. So if it's ice, I'll say two shots of espresso um, in a venti cup over ice. And then if it's just a hot drink, which is what I'm going to do today, then I'll just say two shots of espresso in a hot venti cup. And then like I already showed you guys, I have my protein shake here ready to go. So now I got the two shots of espresso I just pour the protein shake with the flavoring in there and then you enjoy so now I'm gonna show you guys how I do this at okay so home. how do you make the peppermint mocha at home there's a couple ways you can make it at home save some money and not go to Starbucks you can do this all at home so it is later in the day so I'm not going to be doing it with espresso I'm gonna be doing it with some decaf coffee so I have some decaf coffee here in my k-cup but you can do this with the espresso shots at home or you can just use it with regular old coffee so again you want to take your protein shake and you want to use your sugar-free syrup so this is my coffee machine and it actually warms up any milk that I use so again this is a protein pack macro friendly Starbucks kind of dupe and I want this drink to be hot, but again, you can make this cold if you want. I'm just going to pour it. Now I can pour this whole thing in here or I can pour it up to the latte part. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just press latte and let it get hot. So while that is warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my pod in. I'm just gonna make a small serving of it and let it go. And I have my scale here too, because you could, if you wanted to, if you really wanted to count your calories and your macros, you could put the cup here on the scale, zero it out, and then just measure how much it is that you are using for your protein shake and put that into your fit my fitness pal lose it at whatever you're using to track your macros and it's an also a good way to measure out your syrup now yes this syrup is zero calorie sugar free but that doesn't stop it from messing up the drink now when I showed y'all how I make the drink on the go I put a little bit too much syrup and it was a little too strong as far as the peppermint is concerned so what I find is that one serving of this is enough which is 30 milliliters so I'm going to measure it out
Like I was saying, you can go ahead and measure out your serving. So I'm gonna do 20 mLs. Then if you forgot to measure it beforehand, you can measure it now. So I'm gonna zero it back out and then measure out how much of the protein shake I'm using. And I wanna save a little bit of room because what is a holiday drink without some whipped cream? This is the whipped cream that I use. It's the Ready Whip, but it's the fat-free one. Let me show you the macros. And again, you can measure this out if you want to just to properly track all of your calories and macros. So go ahead and zero out your scale. So about two and a half servings of the whipped cream that I have on it. Now what would set this drink off is if I can find like some crushed up like peppermint pieces that I can throw on top. Um, I have no clue where I can get something like that from. So if you do, then throw it in the comments below. Look at this, the perfect little holiday drink. Mm. Oh my God, it's even better than earlier. And it's better because I save money and I can make this multiple times. Now here is another holiday drink that you can make at home that's also macro friendly and it's hot chocolate. Now I'm not gonna make it and I'm not gonna show it to you guys because I just don't like drinking chocolate. I don't like chocolate milk, hot chocolate, mocha type drinks. I don't like it, so I'm not gonna even waste my time in making it, but it is an idea for you guys if you wanna make it at home. My family does a lot of hot chocolate, um, so if I was to make hot chocolate, this is the way I would do it. Premier Protein and Fairlife both have chocolate protein shakes. Take that, warm it up like I did, or warm it up in the microwave or on a stove, however you wanna warm it up, warm it up. Use your fat-free whipped cream, and now you can enjoy hot chocolate that is macro-friendly, calorie-friendly, and that will get you to your goals while still enjoying your favorite holiday drinks. But that is it for Vlogmas Day 4. I just wanted to show you guys some holiday drinks that you can make at home, how you can enjoy your favorite holiday Starbucks drinks that is a little macro-friendly, calorie-friendly, that will still get you to your weight loss goals and save you some money if you do it at home. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon, that way you're notified every single time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and my Instagram. This is where you can get a day-to-day -day connection with me, ask me all your questions, and see what's going on in the moment over there. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 5.